people not believing the government and then going to out to do things when they weren't supposed to. That kind of like scared me because of my like grandparents were older. I would be in contact with people at the shop. I'd be in close contact with people. So it did scare me that I could potentially pass it to my family or like my grandparents or something. The thing that worried me the most was the tourism part of Aaron. That really worried me, you know, because this island like runs off of tourism. And just the fact that, you know, we would maybe come out of lockdown and people wouldn't want to come here. And that, you know, there shouldn't suddenly be a loss of jobs, less people needed to do things. Especially a worry for my parents because they both work in the tourism industry. So, you know, that was definitely a worry. What worried me the most during lockdown was not being able to probably speak to people. My mum and dad are key workers and they worked from day one when the lockdown was issued. Was making sure that those that were most vulnerable, that we knew and we were managing to a, to get information to them that they could phone us, but also that we, they were also getting the financial support or the food support that they, they needed. So for me that was, that was vitally important. I think the best bit was um, getting closer to my family that I don't usually see too often. I think people started to think more again about people around about them and maybe became a bit more considerate. The best part was really the good weather. Obviously I've just got married so it was nice to just be at home with them um, and just literally do nothing like catch up on telly and go for walks mm -hmm. and find it quite relaxing. <laughs> the best bit for me definitely spending more time just not going a hundred miles an hour, spending time with family, to be girls growing up very, very quickly and it's just been really nice at home doing that. I got another job luckily during the lockdown uh, because there were because of the restrictions they were losing the Douglas were losing KP and so they kinda of asked me to help out so it's a little bit helped me. I think for me the best bit of lockdown was to, to see the world in a really natural, peaceful, calm, serene way. Um, lovely not to have traffic. There are still very few planes in the sky and to actually hear silence, birds singing and see wildlife in ways that we've never seen before. Red squirrels bouncing about, you know, in front of you. Best bit was um, getting to explore parts of the island I hadn't previously seen. So I did kind of getting up in the saddle up a bit more as well. I got to experience quite a lot of stuff. I got to do stuff that I wanted to do for quite a while, like dye my hair, try on jewellery, makeup. Just like, you know, express myself, see what I wanted to do, talking to people online some more, like relaxing, talking to friends, yeah. I think for myself was engaging more with the community was something that the same thing, you know, it, even though we're in Lamlash, but we're at the, the other end of Lamlash, Sometimes you got the feeling of being quite ostracised. So for me, it was engaging a lot more with a lot more of uh, Aaron community as a whole, um, and being able to run to work and everything else, and being able to cycle without being uh, fear of being knocked off my bike during lockdown was great. Am I allowed to say Boris Johnson? <laughs> Go on, um, no, uh, the worst part, probably not being able to see all my friends as much as I would of a school. The worst part is probably, probably the schoolwork to be honest. Like, I don't know, it was almost like this expectation to do schoolwork, but it was just really difficult to actually do it. So I know it was kind of just like pressure there. The worst bit for school, I think, is because it's such a lovely community and everybody knows each other, it's not seeing those people and checking in. For me, as a, as a teacher, not seeing pupils, I really, really, really miss the pupils. But it was the ones that you didn't hear from and that didn't log in online or the ones that you didn't hear about that were always a concern. It's nice to come back and see everybody, but that was a real challenge. I, I was desperate to come back and just see everyone. For me, it's all about the health and well-being. The worst bit for AYF was definitely having to do stuff online. Um, it was really good in, in one sense, it was something I really enjoyed, like I loved coming up with the quizzes and doing that, that was something we wouldn't have done if it wasn't for. So, so doing that, and we did it through Zoom, but using a website and an app called Kahoot, so people were like sitting with their phone, pushing one of four answers on their phone, so I loved all that, that was really cool.
um, and we'll do it going forward. But it just did not, in any way, replace being here. So really, really missed being in here, really missing seeing the young folk. Not being able to see as many people as you want to see. Worst part, not seeing friends as much. Um, and then having to do school work in a weird way. I think the worst part of lockdown for me was not seeing people. Staying inside, not knowing what's going to do for exams, like what my results were going to be. Because we did enter lockdown quite early in March, I believe. And honestly, I missed out on quite a lot. My pre results were good, but I was not sure if my work in general was good enough or how we were going to label my work and what's going to happen. So the, out the outdoor centre hasn't been opened as an outdoor centre since March 20th, and that's really difficult for us, you know what I mean? Um, and it's been very difficult for my staff team. So my, uh, the domestic staff, what we did is we sent them out and offered them to the Montrose House and also to Aaron Warren Memorial Hospital because they were short staffed with sort of domestic of cleaning and, and cooking and those kind of things. But it also meant I've been quite removed from my staff team, so they found it difficult. And then if we look at the instructor side, they found it very difficult not being able to engage. <coughs> That's changed now, which is great. We were able to deliver and we are delivering on the mainland. So um, for me, that's, that's a bonus. But um, to ha have the centre not being utilised as an outdoor centre is, is very difficult. But I look on the positives as well. And I think we have to take some positives from everything that we do. And the fact that the centre has been able to a, support the community, and I think it's a lot more embedded within the community now. And the fact that we've been able to offer accommodation for extra support and nursing staff, police, and those that have been sort of left and stranded, not being able to get back onto the mainland. So 